Welcome again everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Nagi server So, uh, my machine here, uh, I got here, this is my machine which is uh, uh, It's Ubuntu 18, so we're going to install the Like, this is like uh, the requirements So, at install here, we'll get here but I'm going to put also uh, all the commands in the description. You just need to copy paste it, and that's it. Okay, this is building extensions. Apache 2, PHP, and PHP uh, ED here, and also lib. lib also libgd also here. Ah, sorry. Lib. And I'm going to say here zip and okay, this is not required, so I'm going to install this. Also, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not edit the video at all like it because it's like uh, I know this like there are a lot of users uh, uh, it's struggling with everything here but uh, so that's why I'm I'm not uh, cut the anything from the video like it's you it's like you install it in the real so I'm not doing anything so. Take some time. And after this one, I'm going to install. So it's here already. It's here, I, as you can see. If I want to install it, like at install this one, it's already done. So here I'm going to user add Nagus. So let's start with like add Nagus, and group here, add Nagus uh, Nagus command here, like this. Yeah. And here user mode here minus a minus g and I guess command and I guess and user here is a model again here to use this nagus and I guess and And I'm going to download here, this is a, like the Nagus core, so I'm going to copy this one, which is Nagus core here, and this is a 4.2, so I'm going to download it. Here, so it's here, so I'm going to to make it here. 
So uh, at the beginning, like this is my Linux here. Like I'm going, this is like Linux. If you want to change the host name, so like I'm going to change the host name as it's like uh, Nagios server here, like this. And also you want to make it as a here. This is etc host name, host name. And I'm going to change this one to Nagios server. And here like a bash. So it's done. So also. Uh, if you're running Ubuntu 16, you can change it from the etc hosts here. But here, you, as you can see, this is a local host here. If you want to edit it here, it's no problem. So uh, I'm going to uh, what we have here. This is Nagios. So I'm going here and I'm going to configure it with like here, like slash configure. And uh, you're going to configure it with the user and the group. So minus minus with minus Nagios group uh, equal to Nagios and with uh, with a command which is a group is Nagios command. and the press enter and it will start to configure so here I'm going to make all at least if you want to give your machine my machine is running like uh, we have one giga uh, memory so if you want to make it like a 500 uh, megabytes or you want it as a one giga so uh, for me I use it as a one gigabyte so it's uh, enough for it like 500 500 mega also I'm going to put all the steps like you need what you need exactly to do it in the in the description you just need to copy paste it in your machine but like you following the video as it like what happening because I'm not cutting anything from the video so I'm as a as I said so as every every step is ta it take like one minute two minutes max so here I'm going to make uh, make install oh sorry just make install and here is make install uh, here command command mood and I make install mesh it here and make make install config oh config oh command config and here I'm going to copy a uh, command here this one this is a user then install minus C minus M and you give this this is like for the uh, you're going to Apache here this is Apache site available and you're going to make it as a Nagis config and I'm going to make it here like this this one also is this is like a copy the handler and change your own also So here I'm going to install. I'm going to uh, install the Nagios plugin. So I'm going to download it first. But yeah, sorry. I'm going to exit one, this one, and I'm going to download it. Mm -hmm. So you download it. It's here. So this one. So I'm going there, and here Nagios plugin here. So I'm going also to configure it with uh, uh, with a user and a group, but this one with uh, will be with the OpenSSL. So press enter. This one will take 
it's between one or two minutes max. It's gonna make it uh, here like this. this is a machine my machine here is this one so it's like taking like, like 110 megabytes so so after this one uh, I'm going to make And I'm going to make install. So we going here to uh, now we going to the Nagus uh, the configuration file. So I'm going to nano minus c, which is I want to see the number of the, um, of the lines. So Nagus local uh, user local Nagus etc here and this is an use configuration so it, this is a configuration file so you're going to find everything is here so in the line 51 here line so you can see this is a line line number here so this in line uh, 51 and i'm coming to this one and save it and i'm going to add the like a folder because it's like here user local Nagios etc so as we can see here there is no servers so I'm going to like make a dial here like minus p and servers and I'm going to change your own like and change your own this is Nagios Nagios like this and this is for the servers so as you can see here like this for each like this is an Agius uh, the user so now I'm going to enable uh, the Apache module so I'm going first here enable it rewrite and I'm going to see right here enable both so I'm going also to make uh, a command here this is a command for the uh, user which is like the password you're going to create a password for the Navius admin you can make it whatever you want here this is a, this is a user so I'm going to create a password for the for the for the admin and I'm going to also here this is the link for uh, for the virtual host here like this is the link you link it restart the Apache server here to restart restart and you can see also the status of the so everything is running it's active and running here and this is like when you access the you will start like this is a config here and I'm going to check my uh, this is a IP address for my machine and I need to access uh, I need to access this uh, one second here I'm going to bring it here so I'm going to access the Nagus it will not work it's a, in the beginning like it will here this is Nagus admin and this is my password so it will allow you to access the uh, the web interface but it will not work because uh, there is no services running the uh, Nagus is not running yet so I'm um, we going to fix this problem first we need to here uh, here as uh, I'm going to the etc here 
and I'm going to this is the Nagius here if you can see this is the Nagius so I'm going to nano Nagius and at the end of the file like you will see here end of script here end of this script so copy the following and paste it there like this paste it here like this is an Agius so paste it here and so also the, the make sure that the, this file is uh, executable like this is an Agius file here this one it's exe it, you can execute it if like yeah like make it like uh, change mode here plus X and Agius make sure that it's uh, executable so I'm going also here this is like mm, we have to go to uh, etcd uh, etc and system e here and system so as we can see here there is uh, uh yeah it's uh we have to uh, make sure that the Nagio server is here so you will create a new uh, file here so I'm gonna like na this is like Nagios service and paste the following this I'm gonna copy it here this one and paste it there here like this so save it and also enable this one systematic line here enable enable Nagius service so in this one it will enable and now you're going to start Nagius the Nagius server so it will be start it will start and if you want to check the status you can check it and it's running now so this is how you uh, how it should be running here like this one second here so it whoops nothing now everything working services so everything is work so it's really really easy to set it up uh, like a server uh, as it's here like this is a local host this is local host all the chicks come from the local host where is this coming from so I'm going to check it here so like I'm going to the user local Nagius oh, sorry Nagius etc and here this is the objects you can see this is the objects here so this objects and this is this is a local host config so nano local host config here this is and you can see everything as it's here like I have here this is a current load uh, current users so you it's working like you now it's working but you need to refresh only the you refresh the page so like for example like I want uh, let's users so here this is the define the service here and you can check this is like this is a current users and this is the check command the check command is coming from here this is a commands here so I'm going to nano commands and if you uh, will search with the users so this is a command local users and you can check here because also in here uh, where yeah I'm going to uh, yes sleep and you can this is all the checks from the Nagius uh, so as it's like for example like check users oh sorry check users and here like I want to check it with minus H so you can uh, this is like uh, the version and you can how you can use it so uh, I, uh, if you have any question about this, just uh, write it in the comments. So yeah, this is two users. Currently, two users logged in. So uh, yes, actually, it's two already because if I did like who, so it's two users from this IP address because I'm already two. So after this, everything here like it's take like. 125 mix so if you want to make your machine like 500 it's enough for now your server 
so i am really uh, hope this video will help you more if you have any question just uh, write me in uh, the comments and thank you thank you for watching